Next, we're going to go ahead and do a prone floor cobra. I'm going to go ahead and move my mat just a little bit more so you can see what I'm doing. There you go. Okay. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and lie on my stomach, and I'm still going to go ahead and do a couple practice breaths to be able to engage my diaphragm. So on the floor, it's going to look like they consider it crocodile breathing. That's what they call it. So I'm going to lay down with my head planted to the ground, my arms stretched out, and I'm just going to go ahead and focus on my breath. And I'm going to go ahead and use the floor as a way to remind me that I'm expanding through the stomach and I'm bringing that navel back to the spine when I take a big breath out. I'm going to go ahead and do three and then I'm going to go ahead and show you the next part. Coming down, I do my pelvic tilt towards the ground, make sure my pelvis is in the proper place. I'm bringing my arms out to the side, just in the natural way. Turn to my head and I'm taking a deep breath in. Big breath out. Big breath in. Big breath out. One more time. Big breath in. And big breath out. I'm pulling my shoulders down away from the ears and putting them in my back pockets. Just like so. And I'm going to go ahead and get to a floor cobra now. So I got my breathing down. I'm going to take a deep breath in to expand the diaphragm. And I'm going to lift my body up and keep my head in a neutral position. Deep breath in. And I'm lifting. This is it. This is all we're doing. We're lifting it up. I'm keeping my head in a neutral position. And I'm pulling my shoulders down away from the ears. And I'm holding. I'm going to hold for about three to five seconds and bring it back down. The navel comes up towards the back of the spine. Take a breath. I hold. I lift. I squeeze my glutes. My glutes are activated. I'm still maintaining that pelvic tilt. Shoulders down away from the ears. Head's in a neutral position. And then I bring it back down. One more time. Deep breath in. Hold, lift, one, two, three, four, five, squeezing the glutes, my core is active, big breath out. What you should be seeing is where your shoulders are coming up so high that your shoulder blades are pinching together. Um, you should not see where your shoulders are coming up when you're taking a big breath in. And we should also make sure we're not getting excessive curvature in the mat. We're just lifting up the chest and maintaining that posture, that position with the hips lower so we can get into almost like a howl hold which we will go into later in our program so that is a floor cobra make sure that you practice breathing in through that diaphragm and expanding three times before you get to the movements to make sure that you're activating the diaphragm and the transverse abdominis which is a part of the pelvic floor that protects the lower back